Hi students, um, our video today is a reading practice for the afternoon distance English class. This story goes along with week two of our summer distance English classroom. If you have the packet at your house, follow along, mark any vocabulary that's new for you. If you don't have the packet, no problem. Follow along, write down any new vocabulary in your notebook. Um, make sure that you practice putting that new vocabulary into sentences to get the meaning in context. And if it's a difficult pronunciation for you, using your mobile device, record yourself speaking the word, listen to your pronunciation, compare it to my pronunciation, and continue practicing that word because repetition is how those words become fixed in our mind. So let's jump into our story. This story is called, With 250 babies born each minute, how many people can the earth sustain? It's an article written by Lucy Lamble for The Guardian newspaper, and it was published on May 5th, 2018. How many people are there in the world? We do not know the exact number. Scientists believe there are about 7.5 billion people in the world today. About 130 million people are born every year. Experts say there will be about 11 billion people by the year 2100. 2100. Where is the population rising fastest and slowest? The population is rising fastest in Africa and Asia. By 2050, there will be more Nigerians than Americans. The population has stopped growing in parts of Europe. The same has happened in Japan and Russia. In some places, the population is even getting smaller. Are these numbers sustainable? This is a hard question to answer. Some experts believe the population has already gotten too large. They believe there are not enough resources, like oil or coal, to support it. But critics argue that population levels are not everything. They say how much resources humans use is just as important. Some believe the argument about overpopulation is not fair. That is because it places blame on poorer countries. These countries are growing faster, but richer countries use more resources. What influences fertility? One thing that affects population growth is fertility. It is measured by the fertility rate. This is the number of children born for every woman in a population. Today, the global fertility rate is low. It is about 2.5 children per woman. In the past, fertility rates were much higher. They were between 4.5 and 7 children per woman. At the time, many children did not live past childhood, so population growth stayed low. But over time, healthcare and medicine improved. Then population growth began to increase. It only slowed down when the fertility rate declined. If birth rates have fallen so far, why is the population still rising fast? Fertility rates are just half the story. Today, people are living much longer than they did in the past. About 55 million people die every year. That is less than half the number who are born. Today, fewer children are dying. Also, life expectancy is much higher. That means people are expected to live longer. In many countries, the average person is expected to live past the age of 70. What's next? Family planning groups help women. They provide services to help them control their fertility. Family planning is not just good for public health. It is also good for the amount of money a country has. When women have control over their fertility, it improves the lives of everyone. 
How was this story for you? What new vocabulary did you hear in this story? Put that vocabulary into sentences as a comment under the video. I will be happy to give you some feedback on your sentence. As always, like the channel, subscribe to the channel so that you will get a notification when new videos are uploaded. And if you want to push yourself, switch over to the more advanced version of this story, which is the AM, the morning class story, and push yourself to understand that higher vocabulary. Until next time, students. Bye.